I started a print on demand business completely from scratch with the goal of generating $100,000 in sales using only AI. And the reason I did this is that there's a massive market for graphic apparel on sites like Etsy, Amazon, and Walmart. Like here you can see Etsy seller Black Lantern Studios has over 135,000 sales on their graphic t-shirts. And they sell them for a whopping $31 a shirt, which comes out to over $4 million in sales. And if we assume that their product costs, Etsy fees comes out to roughly 50% of the overall sales, that's still $2 million in profit. And admittedly, they're one of the bigger Etsy sellers I was able to find, but even smaller stores like your sister's room here has over 8,000 sales at roughly $20 a shirt, which this works out to about $160,000 in sales. And we're gonna be doing this using ChatGPT4, which was just released and has been trained on over 100 trillion data points. It's roughly 18 times more powerful than GPT-3. And here's my own personal store, Yoga Stay, which I grew to about $3 million before selling and exiting that company. So if you're not familiar with what print on demand is, then here's a haiku that I had ChatGPT4 generate for us to really clear things up. Print on demand, see? No inventory, just sales. AI makes it a breeze. But seriously, print on demand is a pretty simple business model where you're able to sell custom designed apparel, mugs, home decor, all kinds of products using a print on demand supplier who prints, packs, and ships your order to the end customer. This eliminates any need for inventory and greatly reduces any upfront investment that we have to make. And in the past, the only downside to print on demand was that it just required a lot of work and manual testing like researching your niche, coming up with design ideas, working with the designers, optimizing your website, running customer service, all of that took a lot of time. And the reason this whole AI thing is so exciting for the print on demand space in particular is that I can honestly say that it's capable of handling all of those areas better than any human ever could. All of those hundreds of hours that I spent spilling blood, sweat, and tears building my own business in the past, okay, it was still pretty easy in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, you don't have to do any of that anymore. We can really skip 90% of that process and build a print on demand brand and get it profitable extremely quickly. And you might be wondering, if this is so easy, then why isn't everybody just doing it? That's for two main reasons. Number one is that as powerful as AI is, it really comes down to the person who's using it to make it actually effective. And a big part of that is knowing what business model to apply it to, being confident that you're following a proven method. And all the videos out there spouting 6,900 ways to make quick money with ChatGPT, ways that I haven't done before, but you should definitely try and they're gonna work, please subscribe. Videos like that are not helping. And it's just causing a lot of confusion in the market and people are really unclear on how to actually use AI to generate a real stream of income. And the second reason is that once you've narrowed in on the business that you wanna build using AI, you then have to know what questions to ask it. This is something called prompt engineering. And to put it in simple terms, if you ask stupid questions, you're gonna get stupid answers, like this one. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is 42. That's why in this video, we're gonna be taking the immense power of AI and channeling it into a proven business opportunity. And I'm gonna be revealing all of the prompts that I'm using along the way in order to do that. So that if this is something that interests you, then you can simply follow along, enter the prompts word for word that I'm using and build a brand of your own. And you're gonna see how this cost us next to nothing. We're able to build a legitimate looking brand extremely quickly. And the first step in doing this is for us to go to ChatGPT and ask it nicely, please give us a list of profitable print-on-demand apparel niches and then it's gonna spit out a list to us that we can just take our pick from or if we don't like any of them we can just ask for more and one thing to note is that AI is especially good at creating visually appealing graphic designs that don't involve a lot of text and the cool thing about this is that we can use chat GPT and mid journey together so that we completely remove the need for us entirely aside from copy and pasting putting our AI team to work we're gonna ask chat GPT for for a mid journey prompt to generate a logo for us. Then I chose a couple of the prompts to give myself some options and pasted them into mid journey and waited for it to spit out some results. And as you can see here, it came up with some pretty unique design ideas. 
And again, the text, like I mentioned, is gonna be messed up, but we're gonna fix that pretty quickly using Canva. For now, you can see it made some pretty unique ideas. And then when I find one that I like, I just click upscale. So I get the high res version of that file. Then I upload it into my favorite app in the world, Canva. It's like Photoshop for dummies. I'll leave a link in the description below to sign up, but allows us to remove the background of that icon that we just made. Just by clicking the button, it automatically removes the background and then we can crop out the jumbled text below it and put in our own text with our brand name that ChatGPT came up with for us. So now that we have our name, our logo, and our niche, we're gonna build out our branding by asking ChatGPT to generate an about us, mission statement, and slogan completely for us. Now this isn't required, but it's a nice thing to have and helps you stand out in the print on demand space nowadays. And I can say from experience, this is the part of the process that used to take by far the longest like researching ideas, seeing what's already working in the market, hiring a designer off of Fiverr or Upwork, then working with that designer, giving feedback, going back and forth for just one design. I mean, no joke, to make a store with 50 designs, it used to take me anywhere from one to two weeks before we finally had 50 designs we were happy with and ready to launch the store. And again, it's bittersweet, but we can now do that within a matter of minutes. Sweet, right? <laughs> and I kind of alluded to it already, but the first step in the design process is brainstorming ideas. Cue chat GPT. And we're gonna have it do this by using a prompt template so that it is generating ideas in a format that Midjourney is able to easily work with and we're gonna get really high quality design outputs. I'll include this prompt in the description below so you can copy and paste it and use it for yourself. Basically, we're just saying style of the artwork, mood of the artwork, lighting style of the graphics, and then we want it to specify for Midjourney that it's a t-shirt design graphic, vector, which just means that it's the type of file that it's going to be, contour, which is the edges of it. We don't want it to just be a block and then a white background, which white backgrounds makes it extremely easy for Canva to remove for us. And then we specifically call out that we don't want it to reference any of the original formula in the output so that it doesn't just give us what we already put in. We want it to actually replace each one of those sections. And then I ask it to write 10 mid journey prompts for our brand tone and niche and graphic t-shirt brand. And we wanna specify our brand tone and niche so that there's cohesive look and feel to all the designs we're making, at least in the beginning. Because that's the way we're gonna get to 100,000 sales the fastest, is by having a very specific niche that we target and having a lot of products for a specific group of people. So then we're just gonna copy and paste these prompts in the mid journey, wait to see what it comes back with. And since I'm on the premium plan, I'm able to do fast mode, which makes all these designs come back within a matter of minutes. And then I simply go down the list and choose the ones that I like the best and click upscale, which you can see below each of the images, you have U or V, U means upscale or give me the high res version of that file and V just means variations. So like if you like one design but it's not quite there, you hit V and it will spit out four more designs that are similar to that one. And what's different about AI generated designs versus humans is that AI is like the wild west. So anything that has been made is public from Midjourney. So if you see something that you like, you can download it and use it on your store too. So we're gonna save and download each of our designs to our desktop, and then we're gonna go back over to Canva and upload all of them. And I'm just gonna do 1080 by 1080 as a square, cause that's how Midjourney generated them. And I can do as many of these designs in the same files I want, just to speed things up a bit. And then same like we did with the logo, I go through each of the images and remove the background just by hitting this button and then touch up the images a bit. Because in some places it removes background that it shouldn't or just goes a little haywire. So with a quick touch up, we're able to get it looking really good. And we have a design file that we are then ready to save and then upload to this upscaler tool. Now this is a free tool that is awesome because what it does is it allows us to upload our low res file that we have right now and it will quadruple or quintuple or sextuple our file so it's super high quality. It will look really nice when we go to put it on apparel. So I upload it to this free site that I'll link in the description below. Then for our fulfillment, I'm using something called Printify, which I've worked with a lot of print on demand suppliers like Printful, Gelato. I can honestly say at the end of the day, Printify is 
by far the best when it comes to product cost, shipping speed, and overall quality. And I'll leave a link in the description below for you to sign up for Printify, but they're honestly by far the best print provider in my experience. And this is the company that's going to print, pack, and ship all of our orders for us without us ever having to touch the inventory ourselves. So over in the Printify product catalog, they have a lot of different shirts to choose from. Everything from the Gildan 5000, which feels like cardboard, to the Bella Canvas 3001, which in my experience is by far the best quality, decent pricing, and they have a lot of cool colors that you can choose from. Customers seem to really like them. Another cool thing is that Printify automatically generates product mockups for you. These are great to include on your listings because it allows the customer to see what the product is gonna look like after they buy it. I mean, they look pretty sweet, right? This is something that I would wear. And then scrolling down a bit, we complete our product listing by updating the product title and the description. We can even have ChatGPT generate product titles and descriptions for us and really go the extra mile. And lastly, we're gonna update our pricing. I'm gonna go with a price of $24.99. We wanna keep our margin in roughly the 50 to 60% area as that allows allows us to account for other costs such as transaction fees and advertising once we get to it. And then as you can see, 2XL and 3XL, it's more material, so we have a higher product cost. We need to increase our price a little bit more on those as well. Then at the bottom, we just hit publish and my favorite part of this whole process is that Printify integrates with Etsy and Shopify. So once you link those to your Printify account, they automatically get published to your different stores. This means that we can go from having a brand new design idea, it being up and ready to sell on your stores within a matter of minutes. And I alluded to this before, but a healthy product catalog to start with is around 40 to 50 designs, which we just did a couple here, but luckily it's just a rinse and repeat process. And here's a little hack that I thought was hilarious. You can go back to ChatGPT and ask it to create a list of sub niches within your niche. And it came back with this list that includes things like extreme adventure sports, cultural getaways, really creative stuff that I would have never come up with. Here's the funny part. I asked it to come up with 10 design prompts for each sub niche. And originally it just gave me one for each, but I asked it again and specified, no, 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 I want 100. 10 times 10 equals 100. And then it got to work. And since the list was so long and GPT-4 has an output limit, I had to encourage it occasionally, at keeping with my role as the most useless partner in this trio, by saying, keep going. I had to say that two or three times before it finally completed the list, and I had an amazing list of a hundred different design prompts. That these, I can then just take and plug and chug into mid-journey, upscale the designs, remove the backgrounds, upload into Printify, I can have a massive looking print on demand brand that seems like it's been around for months, if not years, within a matter of hours. Like to get Yoga Stay to this point, honestly took me six, maybe eight months to get this many designs that were this high quality. Whereas with AI, the designs are super high quality from the get go, and they're only gonna continue to get better as you learn which prompts work the best, and you can even upload your best sellers into mid journey and have him make iterations of those. And with just a few small tweaks to our chat GPT template, we're able to start cranking out designs for all of these. Like just for fun, I repeated the same process with tapestries and these were some of my favorite designs that it made all day. Then I just upscaled them using the free site below and uploaded them into Printify. Now the one thing was that Printify didn't have any mockups for these, it just gave me this plain background. But the good thing is that there's another site we can use called Placeit. Placeit is a really cool site that I've used a ton in the past, but basically it allows you to just upload your designs and then it gives you real world mockups that you can use in your product listings. As you can see here, it just really helps bring your products to life and allow your customers to really envision having it in their home or wearing it. And then like I said before, all of our products that we're uploading into Printify automatically get synced with our Etsy seller account and our Shopify store. So on our website, here's what our brand looks like so far. Obviously, I only repeated this process for a handful of designs for example's sake out of the 100 plus that the AI gave to me, but it's honestly looking pretty darn good for only an hour or two of work. Now, I've got to get going to make sure that I get back to uploading these designs and earning my fair share out of this partnership where I'm clearly not carrying my weight right now. But if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for part two where I'm going to do the exact same process before our marketing and really start ramping up the sales. So be sure to follow along to see the results and how far we get with that. 
And then in the meantime, if you want a more detailed breakdown on how to start a print on demand business, be sure to watch this video over here where I give you my 365 step dropshipping checklist, walking through everything top to bottom, including how to optimize your Shopify store, all of your product designs, your backend organization, like literally everything. It took me years to learn all this stuff and you can get it all completely for free just on that video and then you can download the checklist. But the bottom line here is that AI is capable of making some pretty amazing print on demand brands completely from scratch in a matter of hours. So the only question is, what kind of brand are you gonna make? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.